Yeah. But why though? I mean, because they're both as much cringe. <laughs> I mean, they're they're kind of equivalent on the cringe scale to the general populace. What's the plan? Hey, they say that I'm talking a whole lot of trash. I'm sitting there thinking like, who knew? I know that you've seen us on rappers react. They're talking about us on YouTube. Hollywood six, it look like I do magic. Maybe he's practicing voodoo. I'm hearing you're getting a lot of attention. Well, I'm here to say that we do to deliver the rubbish. I'm What's going on, everybody? We're back with another segment of Rappers React. Smoke dog. What up? I got trivia. What you got? Well, let's see what trivia I have for Smoke Diggity Dog today. Okay, how about this? Who was Snoopy's arch enemy? Was it Woodstock? No. Who was Snoopy's arch enemy? I didn't even know he had an enemy. Pigpen? Nope. Who was it? You ready? Yeah. It was the Red Baron. Oh, that's right. I feel like you knew that one. <laughs> I feel like you knew that one. I didn't watch enough Charlie Brown, but I remember that. Okay, all right, hold on. Let me see if I can get you another good one. Let's see here. Scrolling down my uh, trivia here. Uh, dang it. I had, I had some good ones for you. Uh, okay, how about this? How many U.S. states have names which are only four letters long utah um maine that's five yeah i guess it is um hmm I'm trying to run through all of them in my head i it's feel like a while. slipknot iowa yeah um you said there's four of them mm -hmm. no there's three. Oh, three. so you got so one more uh, potatoes. Uh, oh, Idaho. It, no, no, that can't be. I, actually, I was wrong. Sorry about that. Yeah. Oh, what? So Iowa, Utah. Utah. You got Iowa. You got yeah. what's the other one? I can't think of what it is. What is it? Ohio? Ohio. Okay. Ohio. Yeah. Ohio. Definitely not known for potatoes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was completely off on that <laughs> one. All right, how about this? Uh, let's see. Uh. Um, I want to give you one that I know you won't get. Let's see. Uh, dang it, I have them, but then I forget them. Um, all right, Blucifer is the nickname for which city's iconic horse statue? Oh, that would be Denver. You were correct, my friend. You yeah. are correct. I said the. Denver Airport. Airport. Yes, you're right. Didn't they take down some of the... the... No, actually they added a lot more. Really? A I lot more. I thought more I heard something about them taking down a lot of the the crazy uh, imagery they had. Alright, mm. so, let's see if you can get this one. Uh, you know what we're doing. Um, <laughs> yeah. If I just asked you to name some, some of their songs... Oh, God. Uh, look at this photograph. Uh, look at this! <laughs> yeah. Uh... I, I don't know. Not a lot of their names are coming. All right. You mine. got rap. You got pop. You got jazz. You got rock. Rock. No. Not coming to mind. Okay. Uh, twinkle, Twinkle, Little. Oh, Rockstar. Yeah, I do know that one. You got it, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big, big favor. Y'all, please hit that thumbs up button. And guys, please subscribe to the channel and for god's sake leave us a comment and tell us what to react to next that's how we get the ideas for these videos come directly from you right down in the comment section and today <clears throat> uh, hey that was soft bro give me another one and today there we go yeah nickelback the back of a nickel yeah or um farther back than the quarterback <laughs> Sure. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. Actually, a nickelback would be a defense, a defensive structure. Yeah. I could sit here and let this guy talk about football all day, <laughs> and he will never shut up. I promise you. But no, nickelback, dude. Mm -hmm. Call me Cap. Punch yeah. me in my face if I'm wrong. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to say it because I feel like you would punch <laughs> me when I say this. What I'm you trying to say? I'm just saying, dude, nickelback. God dang it, Smokey. Are you, are you going to say they, they don't deserve the hate they get? No. Oh, okay. 
are or are they, you gonna say you thought they did something that they didn't do? Are they do they not fit in the new metal category? No, no, not at all. Are you about to punch me? No. Okay. All right. No, if anything, it was like the the post grunge uh, butt rock era. Look at this (laughs) photograph. (laughs) But we both know this song, right? Yeah. Hey, hey, I want to be a rock star. So, okay, we both know the song. Yeah. Now, and I kind of feel like we might know what it's about. It's like, it's again, guys, this is our first time sitting down listening it, listening to it together in mm-hmm. its entirety. And it's almost like, you know, I feel like this song's about, hey, what everyone perceives to be a rock star, mm-hmm. it's really not what you think. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've never really paid attention to the lyrics. One of those songs you hear in like a store or something just in passing may have popped up on uh you know some countdown show what aisle what aisle are you on oh the frozen aisle when you hear rockstar (laughs) you know right looking at the the pork chops like hey i wanna be a rockstar hey either way man listen i know so many trash talkers and so many people out there hate on nickelback absolutely but dude this song actually goes bro (laughs) they're not bad musically and, and people like label them with the the cringe factor. So why know? do they get put into the cringe factor? Why is that? I, I think it was overexposure, to tell you the truth. I mean, I'm sure everybody's got their own explanation of why they don't like Nickelback. You know, maybe they they uh, had interviews where they're like, "Oh, the guy's just cringy." Uh, but what's his name? Chad Kroger. He's not the most good-looking man, you know, so that may have I'm sure there's a it. lot of ladies out there oh, I that bet think he's a good-looking guy. Yeah, yeah I bet, they, yeah. bet he's had his share, for sure. I will say that he has a connection to Atlanta because T.I., T.I. from Atlanta, Georgia. Are we both wearing A-hats right now? Yeah, mm-hmm. from Atlanta, Georgia. T.I. actually talked him down from committing. Uh, that wasn't Nickelback. I'm wrong again. That, that was Creed. That's Creed. Yeah. You're right. That's Creed. But everybody puts them in the same category. You know? But why though? I mean, because they're both as much cringe. <laughs> I mean, they're they're kind of equivalent on the cringe scale to the general populace. I'm not judging them. You Me know, neither. like I'm not gonna say they're bad. They're horrible. I'm not gonna say I don't like them. I really don't know enough about them, especially personally, to judge them like that. But people put them on the same category, and they're both kind of that uh, butt rock post grunge <laughs> era. <laughs> And butt rock's not even a bad thing. It's like, not. It's, it's not. the perfect way to clump or to classify artists of that nature. Shout out to the Professor Clumps out there. <laughs> yeah. No, but seriously, Trash Talkers, what is it about Nickelback and Creed where so many people lump them in with, like, you know, cringy? What is that yeah. about? You know, when we did our What Killed Grunge podcast, they were Nickelback on the forefront. and Creed were brought up because... They were at the end of when grunge was already dying out. These two artists blew up, and they kind of had the same style, but you know it was easier to classify them as butt rock in those days because of the era they came yes. up in. But a lot of people say that that might have actually killed grunge for good at that point. Smoke dog. What up? Let's get into it. Well, let's do it. I'm through with standing in line. I've never, never seen the video. That's that's Chicago. Is that my auntie? Is that ZZ Talk? That's Paul Wall, baby. I want a new tour bus full of old guitars. My star on Hollywood Boulevard. Somewhere between Cher and James Dean is fine. What? That's Jesse James, right? Trade this life for fortune and fame. I'd even cut my hair. Chocolate Cause we all. Hey, man. No, that was a twist, but that's not for Every good gold digger's gonna wind up there. Every playboy bunny with 
the bleach blonde hair And well, hey, hey, I wanna be a rock star Don't we all? Hey, hey, I wanna be a rock star I didn't know I, wanna be great like I didn't know they had so many celebrities I ain't raid body Guys that love to beat up bastards I'm a couple lot of grass So I can eat my meals for free Bang I'm gonna dress my ass With the latest fashion Get a front door key To the Playboy Mansion Gonna date a Santa phone That loves to blow my money for me So how you gonna do it? I'm gonna trade this life for four Shit of fame, I'd even cut my hair and change my name Cause we all just wanna be big rock stars And live in hilltop bosses driving 15 cars The girls come easy and the drugs come cheap Well, I'll stay skinny cause we just won't eat And we'll hang out in the coolest bars And the VIP with the movie stars Every good gold digger's gonna wind up there Every playboy the bleach blonde hair and we'll part out in the private rooms with the latest dictionary of today's Zuzu. Yeah. We'll get you anything with that evil smile. Everybody's got a drug dealer on speed now. Nah. Well, hey, hey, I wanna be a rock star. That's a fact. We're gonna sing those songs that offend the senses. Gonna pop my pills from a best dispenser. Get washed up. say something that video's got 300 million millions 300 million views all right so what does that tell you no well can i speak on that for Go a second ahead. to the people to the trash talkers and the people out there who hate on nickelback mm -hmm. you can't hate on good music yeah. you may think they're the corniest people ever yeah you may think they are the most you know cringeworthy people ever but god dang, Nickelback made some dope music, dude. <laughs> they did. They absolutely did, man. They did. They're not lacking for talent. You know, they got the charisma. It's got to be something in, like, interviews or something that did it. Or if it's overexposure. Maybe that's it, because it had three Ooh, million, 300 point. million views. It was and overexposed. That, that was out before YouTube, I want to say. Or at least... At the beginning, At the beginning of, of it, so yeah. this had to be like mid two thousands, maybe. Yeah. So that tells me if they have three hundred million views there, right? People are still going back and watching. They're still watching this video over and over again. A lot of the people who are hating still have to be going back and watching the videos. That's right? what I'm saying, dude. It, I feel like Nickelback might be one of those bands that's like you won't play in front of your friends. Yeah. But yeah. when your friends go home, yeah, you cranking it up. <laughs> yeah. You cranking it up, dude. You riding in your car jamming. Hey, hey, hey and then you call to the stop sign. What y'all listening to? Oh, I ain't listening. I'm listening to NPR. That's yeah. all. <laughs> but they're over there. As soon as that red light turned green, yep, they, up. hey, 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 I want to be a rock star. <laughs> yeah. Man, you listen. To people who out there who hate on this band, I'm sorry. Nickelback was a staple of 
pop culture. Mm -hmm. They were like this song right here. I mean, it's one of those songs, dude. They had they had a walk of life of every famous person that would that most people would consider rock stars. And the word mm -hmm. rock star doesn't mean you are a rock star on yeah. it. No, the word rock star. And if you ask me, when it comes to it's this a song, lifestyle. it's a lifestyle. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. It's a lifestyle. Chuck Liddell at the time mm -hmm. was the biggest. Fighter and, and y'all know I'm a huge yeah. MMA fan. He was the biggest MMA fighter. He took next to Conor McGregor and Ronda Rousey. He took he was before them. Yeah, took it. His time, yeah. Yes, he took it to the next level. Mm -hmm. And you could argue that would be a rock star. Yeah, absolutely. Paul Wall was on top Paul, of the hip hop scene. At you that know time? how many grills Paul Wall and Johnny <laughs> yeah. Dang sold? Yeah, and Twista. Twista was a huge name, especially during those days. Yes. Yeah. Wayne Gretzky was in there. Wayne, Wayne <laughs> Gretzky. Yeah. One of the greatest yeah. hockey players ever. Yeah. Orange County Choppers. That show was huge in the mid two thousands. Man. Yeah. Man. All these guys basically lived the rock star lifestyle, and then they showed common folk too, just people on the street, and they're like, yeah. You guys want to be rock stars also, right? Yeah, well, not only that. Even, like, the, the girls at the Playboy Mansion, you know? Yeah. Like, in a they're sense, living that lifestyle they're too. living that rock star lifestyle. I don't care mm -hmm. if you're a man. I don't care if you're a woman. If you do what you love to do and you happen to um, garner somewhat of success, not necessarily success, but you reach a plateau where you know this is my lane. Mm -hmm. This is how I'm going to be noticed. I don't care if you're a Playboy girl i don't care if you're a rapper i don't care if you're a fighter i don't care what you are but if you reach that plateau of being a rock star and the again smokey said earlier a rock star the definition of that is just living the life of someone who is just lavish yeah. lavish you yeah. know what i'm talking yeah. not not bigger or bigger than your average person yeah you don't have to work you know you party like a rock Party like a rock star. Come on, man. <laughs> I wonder if people outside of Atlanta know that song. Because that was huge in Atlanta. Trash Talkers, how the many of y'all? The Shop Boys. Yeah. How many of y'all? Seriously, we want to know this because this was an Atlanta thing. Yeah. But how many of y'all know the song? Party like, like a rock. Party like a rock star. Party like a rock. Hey, party like a rock star. Let us know yeah. how many people in the air Trash Talkers. And if house. not, look at the video because it's a great song. That's great in video. Atlanta. And. God dang it, do we compare the Shop Boys to Nickelback <laughs> at this time? They definitely didn't reach that level nah. of fame. But, but they, in Atlanta. They up for that song. Yeah, they were huge. In, in Atlanta, Atlanta, they were yeah. huge, man. Mm -hmm. Listen, to the trash talkers who've told us to check out Rockstar by Nickelback, we greatly appreciate it because you, you are a rock star. Who cares what anybody says? Who cares what anybody thinks? Who cares what anybody does, thinks, or says to what you do? If you believe in your heart that you are a rock star, then God dang it, <laughs> you party like a rock star <laughs> and you do what the hell you want to do. Yeah. To somebody in your life, you're a rock star. There's I, always, even if it's just your kids, they think you're a you're rock, rock star. Yeah. Facts. And I don't have kids, but Smokey spoke it wisely, and or he knows. Your mama might think you're a rock star. You know, you got somebody. Hey, shout out Mama Six. Yeah. Hey, I'll never forget. One day, me and my mom was in T, uh, Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something, mm -hmm. and this dude came up. And he was like, Hey, aren't you Hollywood from yeah. the Trash Talkers? And my mom was like, you're a rock star. And in my head, I don't think that. Yeah. But she's like, damn, Barrington, I'm sure your yeah. kids look at you the same yeah. way. Like, my oh, yeah. dad is a freaking rock star, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you guys are too. 100%. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Guys, let us know what's next by uh, Nickelback down in the comment section. And thank y'all for telling us uh, to check out Rockstar. Because in some way or another, everyone watching this is in some way, shape, form, or fashion is a rock star. Mm -hmm. So keep rocking out. Guys, let us know what's next. Go back. Let's, let us know what's next. Go back. Let us know what's next by Nickelback down in the comment section. And with that being said, my name is Barringer Hollywood 6. Bye. I am Larry Smokey Ramirez. Kawhi. And we are. Over. And Al Deuces. Deuces. Yeah. Hey, hey, I I'll be, be a rock, rock star. star. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to another segment of Rappers React. If you guys want to see another artist that we covered, just click uh, right here. If you want to see the last video did, just click right over here. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us today. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and we'll see you on the next one. Deuces.